Well, this is different. Rather than speaking to you from the lectern in church, I'm speaking from the studios of Fruit Media in Shoreham, who very kindly contacted me and offered to record this for our churches. So a big thank you to them for doing this. And Jane and I plan to do something similar every Sunday. Lots of things are different at the moment and will continue to be so over the coming days and weeks. It's difficult to keep up with the speed of the changing situation from hour to hour, let alone day to day. Which is why there's comfort, I think, in keeping to the traditions of the church cycle of festivals. And we will continue to do this in whatever way we can, because they anchor us, particularly in the storms of life. Today, this Sunday, we celebrate Mothering Sunday, Traditionally, this festival is the time when we give thanks for the Mother Church. The origins of this are in the tradition of people going home to their Mother Church or Cathedral once a year as an annual celebration of that church. But we also give thanks for our own mothers and the focus in our shops is certainly on cards and presents to buy for them. However, the motherhood we celebrate today is much more than this. It extends to many other relationships like that of John and Mary, which we hear of in our Gospel reading. That's John 19, 25 to 27, where Jesus, on the cross, entrusts his mother to John's care. He says to Mary, Woman, here is your son, and to John, here is your mother. And in that little exchange, we're given a wider definition of mother love than just that between blood relatives. John and Mary become family, caring for each other in honour of Jesus' loving instruction. And in the circumstances we currently find ourselves in, the focus on family is visibly extending even further, not just to our own families or our church family, but also to our community family. There are so many heartwarming offers of help around at the moment, and you, like me, will have heard of so many cheering stories of help as the situation worsens. Yes, there are reports of bad behaviour too. That's the nature of the human condition. But these are far outweighed by the good we are seeing. In our reading from the letter of Paul this morning, we are encouraged in this to extend our love to everyone. He writes in Colossians chapter 3, verses 12 to 17, some beautiful words. Let me read them. As God's chosen one, holy and beloved, Clothe yourselves with compassion, kindness, humility, meekness and patience. Bear with one another, and if anyone has a complaint against another, forgive each other. Just as the Lord has forgiven you, so you also must forgive. Above all, clothe yourselves with love, which binds everything together in perfect harmony. And let the peace of Christ rule in your hearts, to which indeed you were called in the one body. And be thankful. Let the word of Christ dwell in you richly. Teach and admonish one another in all wisdom. And with gratitude in your hearts, sing psalms, hymns and spiritual songs to God. And whatever you do, in word or deed, do everything in the name of the Lord Jesus, giving thanks to God the Father through him. So let us take heart from St Paul's words and from all that Mothering Sunday is about and build on all the good things happening in our communities. So many people are offering to help in practical ways, shopping, delivering food and prescriptions to the housebound. And if you can't get out, you can, what I call, make a visit on the phone. As well as social media, let's not forget the power of hearing a friendly voice on the phone as the BT slogan told us 20 years ago, it's good to talk, we can all do that. And we are all urged to take part in a national day of prayer and action for the coronavirus this weekend by lighting a candle in our windows at 7pm on Sunday, in the words of Archbishop Justin Welby, as a visible symbol of the light of life, Jesus Christ. Let's do it. And we can pray for each other, for those who are sick, for medical staff and carers, for those in danger of losing their livelihoods, for those in authority having to make such difficult decisions, for the anxious, the lonely and the isolated, for the situation across the world 
and so much more, some of which is known only to each of us personally. Our churches here in Shoreham, St Mary's and the Church of the Good Shepherd, remain open for private prayer daily from nine to six, for people to come and sit a while, maybe light a candle. My prayer is that the churches and all of us across the community may emanate the love of God and offer friendship and sanctuary in these challenging times. And please feel free to contact us if it would help to talk. Our contact numbers are in the newsletter and prayer letters on the website and in church. Let me finish with these prayers. Let us pray. Keep us, good Lord, under the shadow of your mercy in this time of uncertainty and distress. Sustain and support the anxious and fearful and lift up all who are brought low, that we may rejoice in your comfort, knowing that nothing can separate us from your love. In Christ Jesus, our Lord. Amen. And now we have the Collect for Mothering Sunday. Merciful God, whose son Jesus Christ, the child of Mary, shared the life of a home in Nazareth and on the cross, drew the whole human family to himself, strengthen us in our daily lives, that in joy and sorrow we may know the power of your presence to bind together and to heal. Through Jesus Christ, your Son, our Lord, who is alive and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. And we can say now the Lord's Prayer. Please say it out loud. Join in at home. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come. Thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power and the glory for ever and ever. Amen. And may the peace of God, which passes all understanding, Keep your hearts and minds in the knowledge and love of God and of his Son, Jesus Christ our Lord, and the blessing of God Almighty, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit be among us and remain with us always. Amen. Stay well and keep in touch. God bless. <laughs>